not sure I approve of this interruption, Arthur. When we're on patrol, our first order of business must be the patrol. Tech, if we don't do the shopping, we won't have anything for dinner. Very well, then, shop away. I will patrol the supermarket. <laughs> Hi, I'm Milky, the milk boy. Would you like to try a free sample? I would indeed. Ah, dairy goodness. Uh, hi, Stuart. Hey, Arthur. How's it going? You still a superhero? Oh, yeah. Ah, there you are, Arthur. Hello, Stuart. Oh, hey, Tick. Uh-huh. Evacuate the building. Uh-huh. Tick, you've got some, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, right here, eh? Gad, a crumb? An errant particle? I am besmirched. Uh-huh. Uh, there, did I get it? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, sure, whatever you say, buddy. No, no, Tick, here. Some guy calling himself the bread master said he planted a loaf of bread in the building, and it's said to go off at noon. Well, it's almost noon now. on the rise. Yeast devil, back to the oven that baked you. Oh, I've got a terrible headache. Ah. Milk mustache! Good heavens! Ah. Arthur, save yourself! So warm, so soft, could sleep forever. Fight it, Tick! Don't go under! Uh, yes, must resist it. Mustn't succumb to rapture of the bread. You've given me another shot at this thing called life. Arthur! Puppy! I'm afraid it's a bust, Arthur! Save what you can! That's quite good. It must be a terrible shock. I'll say. I don't have bread insurance. Don't despair, Stuart. You can rebuild. Here, start with these. Cottony swabs. Hello? Am I speaking to the White Bread Baking Company? This is the Breadmaster with a question for you. Have you no shame? Have you no decency? Can you not cry for the millions victimized by your barbarism? Hang on a second. Buttery pat. I need three more pans. Because of you, the masses know nothing of real bread. Oh, yes. I've sampled that pallid, flavorless sponge you pedal. It sticks fast to the roof of my mouth. It rolls eagerly between thumb and forefinger into hard, tasteless pearls. Yes! I want to register a complaint. Your bread is a disgrace. Hear me, perpetrators of bread crime. Your punishment is at hand. I must say, little chum, your instincts are improving. Stopping at Stewart's proved more heroic than I anticipated. Some heroism. Tick, the place was demolished. Details, Arthur. You're obsessing again. Uh, uh, more bread. 
wait a minute. Hmm. You know, I think this is the same guy. Master seems to have something against the food industry. I think it's the baking industry in particular that he's mad at. So, this guy's a baker, and he's evil. Who would know about evil bakers? I, I know! The City Baking College! Yes, I've been the dean here for over 25 years. And in all that time, I had only one student with enough skill to devise bread bombs like the ones you describe. In fact, that same student was expelled from this very institution. Why? Why? Uh, for pursuing perverse baking experiments. Flagrant violations of the Baker's Code. You know, um, projectile danish, uh, floating pies, mm, that sort of thing. He baked a muffin that stole my car. But he was expelled in disgrace. <laughs> A bitter, broken baker. <sighs> I haven't heard from him since. Hello? Remember me, Dean? The breadmaster, the object of your miserable, petty jealousy. I remember you. You, who denied me my baking license by <gasps> expelling me. But why? Because your tiny ego could not withstand the threat of my culinary genius. Well, <laughs> today, at exactly five o'clock, your tyranny ends. Dean, a, a loaf of bread has been found in the basement. Can I call you back? We have a situation here. There, examine it for yourself. Then tell me we're not dealing with suspicious baked goods. Not baked goods, Professor. Baked bads. Time? 4.59 and 10 seconds. Uh, 50 seconds to diffuse a loaf of bread. Not good. Thirty seconds. Bread knife. Um, here! 25 seconds. <gasps> oh, <sorry>. 10 seconds. <laughs> you. Evacuate the building. This bread's gonna blow. Him? He must be running now. Okay. Allez, allez, allez. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. oh no. Good heavens. What have you done? Submission. This villainous baker means business. Oh, nuts. 
The tick did what? Oh, I should have known that sooner or later a superhero would get involved. The times, Pat, have become desperate. Which calls for desperate measures. Very big measures. Measures that will make the entire city rue the day they ever charted that college of charlatans. Get me the mayor's office. And this so-called breadmaster has issued an ultimatum to Mayor Blank. He's demanded common baking ingredients in enormous quantities. And if they are not delivered per his instructions, he will escalate his bread bombings. Mayor Blank announced his decision at a press conference earlier today. I've okayed the delivery of the supplies the breadmaster demands. But, Your Honor, isn't it the city's policy to refuse all terrorist demands? Well, uh, yes, I, I suppose you could call these terrorist acts, but they're also acts of baking. Very fast, very big baking. Are you okay? Uh, I have to be, chum. We have much important work ahead of us. We must let this base baker accumulate his sundry ingredients. But when he gets to the sugar, he'll find the bitter taste of justice. Breadmaster, your culinary crime wave has crashed against the shores of justice. Nice. So, vermin, we meet at last. Butter me, Pat. Heads up, Arthur. Incoming dinner roll! Wow! Oh! Hang on, little chum! Get this dinner roll off me! Get! He's giving us the slip! No doubt. Yeah, to divide by 200, carry the third. Oh, no! If I understand the proportions correctly, when that big a souffle rises, it'll swallow the city whole. Where could he mix ingredients in that quantity? A large enclosed space, uh, like a stadium, or a skating rink, or uh, the municipal swimming pool. I suppose I should regret that we had to leave the sugar behind, Pat. But I'll still have my revenge on the city. And it will be just as sweet. All right, Breadmaster. That'll be just about enough of that. <laughs> Chef of chicanery, your buns are mine. Rolls away! 
you'll have much time to hone your baking skills in the prison mess hall. Perhaps, but you're too late to stop my self-baking souffle! Already rising! It'll smother the city! Something. More thinking. We are well challenged, small friend. Actually, a loud noise would... That's it! A sonic boom! A sonic boom? A sonic boom would certainly ruin a giant souffle, but how to cause one? Bullet. Bullet! Bullet, get up! It's an emergency! What? Who's there? Bullet, it's the tick. Wake up! <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A huge souffle is about to consume the city, and we need your cannon. Uh, okay, okay. Let me put on some pants. We need a sonic boom to make the souffle fall. <sighs> Listen, I want you to double, uh, no, triple the explosive charge you usually use. A triple charge? No! The explosion alone, not to mention the speed it would generate, could finish a normal human being. I'm betting that I'm just abnormal enough to survive. Well, it looks like you've averted yet another threat to the city, Tick. Yes, and the city looks almost peaceful under a blanket of freshly fallen souffle. But let us not forget the lesson that we can learn from this, Arthur. That man was not meant to tamper with any of the four basic food groups. Huh. Could use a little sugar. 